Suppose you have a canvas, and you draw a polygon on it. How much space this polygon occupies inside the canvas, is what we call the area of the polygon. And we can calculate it with this formula. This formula, assumes that the polygon is closed, namely, the first and last point are the same. Let's write the result. Our canvas, is 450 high and 450 wide. We can see how much space this polygon occupies on it. almost 25%. This means, that four polygons like this, would span the entire canvas. The formula of area, that we used earlier, actually gives us the signed area. This means we can also use it to determine the orientation of a polygon. If the signed area is positive, then the polygon is ordered counterclockwise. If it's negative, then the polygon vertices are ordered clockwise. In this example, we can see that this polygon has a counterclockwise orientation, but our code tells us otherwise. This is because screen computers have the vertical axis flipped with respect to the Cartesian plane. If you plot this polygon in the Cartesian plane, you'll get something like this. The same shape, flipped vertically. Knowing this, if we want visual coherence, we have to change the conditional. If the signed area is positive, clockwise orientation. If it's negative, the polygon is counterclockwise oriented. The perimeter or length of a polygon, is the sum of the longitude of its sides. Imagine a polygon with four sides, A, B, C, and D. Align A, B, C, and D, to form a straight line. The length of this line, is the length of the polygon. And again, the code assumes that the first and last point are the same. The centroid of a polygon, 
is its center of mass. Physically, the unique point at which the shape could be perfectly balanced on the tip of a pin. The centroid of a flat figure, such as a polygon, is the arithmetic mean position of all the points in the figure. Again, the first and last point have to be the same. Just for testing purpose, let's rotate the polygon with the centroid being the rotation point. Now we have a new polygon, new points. But if we calculate the centroid again, we'll get the same result.